The Institute of Museum and Library Services honors 10 of the nation's museums and libraries for their extraordinary contributions to the communities they serve. IMLS is the nation's primary source of federal support for museums and libraries. We congratulate the winners of the 2011 National Medal for Museum and Library Service. Located in the heart of a dynamic and diverse community, the Brooklyn Museum greets some 400,000 visitors each year who explore the connections between the collections and their lives, and between traditions and cultures. Through exhibitions such as American Identities, a multicultural view of American origins, fun, interactive programs like First Saturdays, which invites visitors to enjoy music and dance surrounded by great art, and Click, a crowd-curated exhibit, the Brooklyn Museum engages and supports the surrounding community. Children learn a lot of things about their world when at play, a concept that's employed at Adventure Children's Museum in every exhibit for every child, parent, caregiver, and museum partner. From learning anatomy by scrambling through 40-foot high eddy, to practicing a future career on a full-size fire engine or John Deere tractor, and learning practical money management using eddy bucks, children run, climb, laugh, and play, all the while learning important skills they can use now and when they grow up. It's all here at Adventure Children's Museum. For the staff and community partners of Alachua County Library in Gainesville, Florida, the concept of community librarianship is all about thinking outside the book and pooling resources to provide much needed community services. Library staff parlay their e-government expertise to assist visitors with job skill development, resume writing, and basic computer skills, while library partners offer mobile health clinics and assistance with legal matters, making the library district a valuable one-stop service for the surrounding community. When customers can't get to the Columbus Metropolitan Library, staff from its Ready to Read Corps take the library to them, carrying out the library's mission to meet customers wherever they are and providing early literacy training for parents. From a base of solid community support, the library helps high school students improve reading, writing, and math scores through its homework help centers and takes a proactive role in the local economy through its job help centers all initiatives that are having positive impacts on the lives of Columbus, Ohio residents. Erie Art Museum embraces the arts, all of them, and through its innovative programs invites the community to do the same. Street art programs Leapfrog and Go Fish are re-energizing and beautifying downtown streets and kindling new interest in public art forms. For the large refugee population, Old songs, new opportunities, provides both job opportunities and a way to share important traditions and culture. And kids as curators has middle school children and their teachers seeing the museum like they've never seen it before. Books and manuscripts, many of them rare or ancient, meet high tech and complete harmony at the Hill Museum and Manuscript Library where Benedictine monks work to preserve and catalog fragile collections using digital photography. The only way the past has come down to us is in the form of these writings. Through its website, the library offers digital copies of thousands of medieval, Renaissance, and early modern manuscripts from Europe, Africa, India, and most recently, the Middle East working in partnership worldwide with local libraries and archives to preserve records from wars, political turmoil, and even fraud in some of the most unsettled spots on the planet. Visitors to the Lewis Ginter Botanical Garden love the peaceful, refreshing atmosphere. Each visitor has an opportunity to learn more about the natural world and their role in helping to conserve precious resources beautiful and intriguing plantings, much loved by amateur and professional photographers, share the 60-acre space with an education and library complex, greenhouses, a glass dome conservatory, and a vegetable garden that annually supplies some 9,000 tons of fresh, nutritious food to community food banks, making these gardens a place that feeds both body and soul. With more than 15 million items checked out annually, 
San Jose Public Library has earned its title as one of the busiest libraries in the country and serves customers from richly diverse backgrounds in more than 19 branches. Library patrons are the focus from the design of its facilities, which welcome visitors to its programs like Stay and Play, to engaging preschool and elementary age children and their caregivers to learn through play. Programs supporting early literacy and academic achievement continue to demonstrate the library's commitment to lifelong learning. In this remote mountainous region, the library is a valued community resource. Imaginative partnerships brought high-speed internet service to the tiny town of Weite, and soon it will expand the current library-centered cell phone service to the entire community. Whether it's offering employment assistance to residents, engaging children from preschool to teen years, or helping a resident learn basic computer skills, it's all in a day's work for the four staff members who, though they work part-time, manage to make a big impact on their community. Madison Children's Museum believes in local talent. Its historic building was redesigned by a local architect using local products, and some 15,000 local volunteers donated time, money, and even some of the objects used in exhibits. In an overscheduled world, children, parents, grandparents, and caregivers are encouraged to take part in open-ended play a freewheeling experience that creates intergenerational conversations, provides fertile ground for learning, and sparks the imagination in sometimes unpredictable but always delightful ways. The Institute of Museum and Library Services is proud to honor the outstanding winners of the 2011 National Medal for Museum and Library Service. This presentation was created for the Institute of Museum and Library Services by History.